it just doesn't make any sense. I mean, if, if you came back from the future to stop you from inventing time travel, then wouldn't you have never needed to come back at all? I don't know. I don't, okay? Do you have the annual reports? Yeah. Can we look yeah, at those? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But, so focus. So by the nature of the other Greg being here, doesn't that defy the excellent adventure theory? I don't know. I don't. Okay, okay. Well, what if time is all predestined and that people in time are actually in a series of closed I'm gonna loops. kill you. Trent, I don't know the answers, okay? Can we please focus on time shares here? Not... Time travel? Hello? How he explains defying the grandfather paradox. What's up, me? Is that Trent? Yeah. Trent. Wow, that's fucked up. You know his grandkids actually end up killing him? Good. Yeah, it was awesome. So, uh, ask me what I got into last night. I'm not gonna ask her what you Molly. got into, huh? No? She's gonna tell me. Specifically her gap, which was indeed snapped. I assumed it was the gap. You know, it was really great that I actually changed the body because I never got any while I was still looking like Mark Hamill's retarded younger brother. Okay, so that sounds that sounds really great. It was great, and it's about to be great again. Come oh. here, you. <laughs> She's right here. I didn't tell you. Hey, Greg. <laughs> yep. Her gap. Okay, look, I I don't have time for this. Okay, I have a really big meeting in like ten minutes. So meeting? I'm, I'm what go. fucking meeting? No, Greg. What day is it? Greg, do not go to that meeting. Listen to me very carefully. Okay. I All will right. fucking. Okay. You, do you want... He hung up. Okay. Do you have a ride? I have a bike, but uh, I don't have a car. Twenty-eight miles per hour. Get out of here. Is that Greg? My favorite employee. I'm not your favorite, am I? <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. You ready for that meeting? Yes, Mr. Gillians. <laughs> it's Gary, Greg. I know the CEO is my comatose father and I'm running the company in his stead. That doesn't mean I'm your boss. Remember, I was once a sundial salesman just like you. Hmm, you sure were. It's like. Two weeks ago, right? When your father fell out of that window? And then you were right by the window he fell out of? Time flies, my friend. Time and time and... Oh, speaking of which, don't forget about my meeting in like 20. Attendance is mandatory and gaps are definitely gonna get snapped around here. Talking about layoffs, Oh, I get Greg. what you're talking about. I know you're talking about layoffs, so I'll be there. <sighs> I could not make it more clear. Hey, Archimedes, it's called a white collar, meaning one, you need to have a collar, and two, you need to be white. Yow! Oh, hello, sir. Could you please put on this visitor's pass? Sir? Oh, here you go. I can't let you go to this meeting. What now, dude? Why are you here? Why are you wearing my Ray-Bans? Oh, big motherfucker! Shit, 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 stop, 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 stop. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, okay, so listen, you go into that meeting, you send Sundial Real Estate on a course for inventing time travel, okay, which causes the... Well, you know. Dude, you could've just asked me. How about that? I would not have said anything. You'd have to mace me in the eyeballs. I can't trust me with that. Besides, wouldn't that create a new timeline, technically? Are you kidding? I am so... Oh. I just... I hate you so much. Oh. Eat a dick. Eat a dick, Trent. Seriously, I prefer go. Apocalypse over you, Trent. Oh. Just go. Go have grandkids or something. God! You should have maced him. He makes me so angry. Okay, How listen. Go? I know it's tough. Uh, you know, know it's, it's tough. Don't touch me ever again. But I had to do it. <sighs> for Molly. And the kids. Silence that shit, man. 
It's Molly. You're not forgiven. Molly Scott, how are you? Yeah, no, listen, uh, that mace you gave me, I really think is expired. Um, yeah, but wait. I'll call you back. As many of you are aware, my father recently fell into a debilitating coma. Now as tragic as that may seem, I feel it is only appropriate that we steer this company in a new direction. The sundial real estate of my father's past isn't going to cut it in the e-markets of the future. Now, I don't care if we have to stop selling timeshares. I just want ideas. Now. I've got an idea. Not timeshares. No, get the sit. Are you kidding? Time travel. 